Hello friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Erin and today we are talking about a brand that I have wanted to try for so, so long. Every time I see this brand post on Instagram or anytime I see a new product release from them, I just get so excited and they make me excited to play with makeup. And I finally made a purchase which took me way too long but... You know, sometimes you just put off purchasing things because money and stuff like that. So, I finally am going to try out Give Me Glow Cosmetics, and I have the Juicy Olive Palette. I love this palette. I mean, I don't even know how it performs, but this palette is everything I've ever wanted in an eyeshadow palette. Look at those greens. Look at those greens. Um, it's beautiful. It's everything I've ever wanted in an eyeshadow palette. It's the perfect tone. It's just so, so beautiful. So I am so excited to have this now. And I'm going to try to use every single eyeshadow in this palette to create a look. So we'll see how that goes. I also picked up a highlighter from them. Their packaging is really cute. It's like really sleek and nice and compact. And then it's the shade Transcendent, which I think is really pretty. So we are also going to play it with that today. But, oh, I forgot to tell you the prices of everything. This palette is $30, which is a little pricey for only six shades um but the pans are giant so i'm hoping that's i hope that's gonna balance it out and the highlight is 1725 which i think is kind of a weird price it's not just 17 or 18 it's 1725 i don't know i just think that's a funny it's a funny price i don't know it's just kind of weird also i am so tired right now i am exhausted i really want to go to sleep right now and I have to film this video so if I look half asleep it's because I am so um yeah we're gonna play with makeup and hopefully wake up and get rid of this tiredness that I'm feeling right now and just have some fun so let me zoom you guys in and let's let's start out shall we zooming in like this makes me look way more tired than I thought I was. So, <laughs> just going to prime my eyes with the P. Louise base like always. I, I, I'm very disappointed in this and P. Louise as a brand. So I, I don't know. I'm really not gonna buy any more of their stuff, but I will continue to use up the bases that I bought cause I bought like seven of them. And, you know, that's money, so. Okay, that actually makes me look more awake, so that's good because I look dead. I'm going to take the shade Vodka Teeny right here, and that is going to be my transition color. I, I'm thinking I might do a halo eye today, but also, do I want to? I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't know what I want to do. I knew I was going to fall in love with this palette oh my god look at this oh oh it's beautiful it's very light but it packs a good olivey tone if you know what i'm saying does that make any sense probably not because oh wait i'm half asleep you probably don't know what i'm saying at all this is a nice shade it's it's nice. It's a good transition shade for sure. I thought it was going to be maybe like a little too dark, but I think it's actually going to be perfect for a transition shade in this palette. I mean, if you want to do a whole green look, which is what I'm going for because this is a green palette. I was going to do a halo eye, but do I want to do a halo eye? <sighs> I don't know. I'm not very good at halo eyes. So that's why I think I don't do them as much. Oh my god, I love this shade. But like also, you guys are probably tired of my cut creases. I don't know. There's only so many things that I can do on my eyeballs, okay? So it's hard for me. It's hard for me to 
oh, not do the same things over and over again. Especially when you don't have as much lid space and I have like teeny tiny lids and I just feel like my lid space is like non-existent. There's some people that have amazing lid space. Like Kathleen Lights, she has a, such good lid space and I just don't. Okay, I'm gonna take the shade Dry Martini right here and I'm just, this is where I'm gonna start putting things in the outer and inner corner portions only. So I'm going to put this here. <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. I like the shade range that they gave us. There are some like greeny browns and then there are some like straight up green greens and I like that. Like olivey, dirty greens. It's not necessary to use all these colors, but I just want to for the sake of the video to make sure that all the colors are, you know, good and they perform well and that kind of thing. Plus it's only six shades, so I mean, why not? Oof, I really like this color. This is a good one. I really like the theme of this palette too, the martini thing, I just think that's cute. Everything to do with like cocktails and olives and martinis because olives and martinis go together i don't know i just think that's really cute it's a cute idea does anyone ever struggle with leaving the middle space open i swear i can never make my eyes even for the middle space when i'm doing a halo eye i don't know if that's just me does anyone else have that problem or like am i just not good at making things even which it's probably true guys it's probably the actual answer but I just want to know if anyone else has that issue I swear I pick a different spot each time I don't know how I don't know I don't know guys I also am not sure if anything I'm saying is making any sense because I am half asleep I'm it's I'm so tired right now I am like, I could fall on my face and go to sleep tired. Why? Probably because the other night I stayed up until 2 a.m. because I was playing episode. And, yeah. I mean, it was a lot of fun. Do I regret it? No. Would I do it again? Yes. But am I exhausted? For sure. You know what I just remembered the other day, guys? It's summer. It's officially almost summer now, like it's June. It's summer. Isn't that weird? It just feels weird. I feel like it shouldn't be summer yet. Just the timing, it just doesn't feel right. Maybe I'm being dramatic. I'm probably being dramatic. I'm usually always dramatic, so. But it just feels weird. It just doesn't feel right. I don't know. Next, I'm going to take the shade Dirty Martini right here, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to layer this color on Dry Martini, the one that we just did. I'm just building up colors. Like I said, you probably do not need to use all of these colors on top of each other, but for the sake of the video, for the sake of... Oh! That color... Stunning. That woke me up. <laughs> I saw the pigmentation and I went, oh, whoa, I'm awake. So what have you guys been up to? Leave me a comment in the comments down below about what you've been doing for fun. What have you been doing for self-care? What have you been, I don't know, just doing? I've been playing Animal Crossings, which I wasn't going to play because I thought it was all hype. It's not. It's an amazing game. I am obsessed. I love it so, so much. Um, I wish I had played it sooner because it's so awesome. And I've been playing Episode. I love Episode. You guys know that if you watch my channel. Um, I play Episode on here because it's fun and you guys seem to enjoy it. And it's just a fun little thing that we can do together. And other than that, I've just been watching like shows and... 
We got HBO Max and I just wanted to check out what they had and stuff like that. Other than that, it's just been really chill. Haven't been doing much, just taking it one day at a time, you know, just trying my best to survive every day. That sounds so dark, but I mean, it's also not a lie, so. Okay, for the last matte, we're going to take the shade Cocktails, this one right here. It's the deepest shade and also might be my favorite matte if it works the way I think it's going to work. It looks so beautiful. So I'm just gonna take that. Ooh, it looks so pretty. And I'm going to layer it on top of the other shades. <gasps> oh yeah, it's exactly what I wanted it to be. These mattes are beautiful. Wow, they're really pigmented. Wow, that's so pretty. Ow, I just stabbed my eye again, oh my god. Doing makeup and being tired at the same time is not a good combination, guys. Because then you can hurt yourself like what I'm doing right now. They're all blending together really nicely as well. I don't know if you guys can see. I hope you can, I'm trying to show you the best of my abilities. I'm going to take a little bit of Vodka Teeny, that first shade we laid down, and I'm just gonna blend these together. I had a feeling I was gonna really like this palette though, cause it's like my kind of colors. So now is the fun slash not so fun part. This is where I cut my crease which is not really my crease it's gonna be cut the halo eye and then we lay down the shimmers see the fun part is the shimmers the not fun part is the cut crease so I'm gonna cut my crease and then I'll show you guys which shimmers I'm putting where so I'll be right back I messed up a little bit it's fine I don't want to talk about it. It's gonna be okay. I'll figure it out. I swear one eye always looks better than the other. Like wh why do you do that? Like what is the deal? I don't understand. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of Cocktails, that dark, dark shade we use, and I'm just going to barely blend the corners of the concealer. I don't want to do too much because I'm going to put both shimmers on the eye. I just want to give a little bit of something something to make it look a little bit better, but I'm not going to do a lot to the corners because I'm going to put the shimmers down. Now we're going to take the deeper shimmer shade called Shaken Not Stirred right here. And I'm going to put that on the outer portions of the halo eye. Just right here. It's the darker shade, so it'll definitely blend into the deeper matte better. I don't want too much of it because it's not the star of the show, you know? Now time for the star of the show. We're gonna lay down Garnish, which is probably the prettiest green shimmer I've ever seen in my life. And it's gonna be front and center on the eyeball. Oh yeah, I want it to be front and center. Hello beautiful. Also, I just want to tell you I did not wet these shimmers. These are just purely brush pigment on the eye. I feel like it looks a little stupid right now, but don't worry, I'll fix it. it takes time with these kinds of eye looks. You kind of have to just go back and forth before you're really done with it, if you know what I mean. Okay, now we're gonna go into Shake and Not Stirred, that other green shimmer, which is pretty. It's just not as pretty as Garnish, in my opinion. Just trying to blend them a little bit better together. I feel like this eye came together way better than this eye. Does that always happen to me? I think so. I just am not good at halo eyes, I don't think. <laughs> So why do I keep doing them? Um, I don't, I'm not really sure. I think I'm just trying to get better, but it's like not working. 
So I'm just going to take the brush with the shade Cocktails on it. Um, I'm not going to put any more. I feel like it doesn't look that good. But maybe I'm just being nitpicky. I don't know. Okay, guys. So I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup off camera. And then I will come back so we can use the highlighter and for the lower lash line I'm probably just gonna do the exact same thing I did on top I'm just gonna mimic the halo eye but we'll do that together I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do and then yeah um so I'll be right back okay guys I'm back with my face done I did fake freckles again today and I think I went a little overboard but uh I don't know, I think it kind of looks really cute. So, we're going to put on some highlight. This is Transcendent from Give Me Glow, of course. This is the brand we're talking about today. So I'm just going to put some on. I'm just going to pick it up on this BH Cosmetics 140 brush. Oh, hello. Wow, highlight. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Wow. That is glowy. I look so funny with fake freckles, but I kind of look really cute as well. It's like weird, and you can tell they're kind of fake. I'm not very good at it, so that's part of the problem. But otherwise, I think they look pretty cute. That is gorgeous wow i'm obsessed already that's a beautiful highlight i'll definitely be reaching for that more okay now let's finish up the eyes shall we and then we will be done so i'm gonna use the same brushes that i did for my lid because i just think that'll be easier so i'm gonna start with vodka teeny the shade we used in our transition area and I'm just going to dust this under the eye just for a little hint of color and to help blend all the other colors that we're going to use next I'm going to take the shade dry martini right here and do the same thing except just on the outside and inner portion of the lower lash Next, we're going to go into Dirty Martini and do the exact same thing. And then lastly, we're going to go into Cocktails and pick up just a tiny bit of that shade and put it, you guessed it, on the outer and inner portions of the lower line, lash line. I'm going to take Garnish, this shade right here, and I'm just going to put that in the middle of my lower lash line. just to mimic the halo eye that we have going and I'll just blend it out with the same brush. And for my waterline, I'm actually gonna do a waterline color which is like unheard of with me. I never do eyeliner in my waterline just because I'm lazy. But I'm going to take, I haven't even used it yet. This is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner in Screamin' and I'm going to put that, can you see it? And I'm going to put this in my waterline. Just for a little pop, you can barely even see it, honestly. But I can tell it's there, so it's worth it to me. Okay, so I'm going to put on some mascara and a lip, and then we will be done, and I will give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, guys, this is a finished look. I really like it. I wish... I don't know, I hate halo eyes on me. I think I just can't do them very well. So I don't love the halo eye. I wish I had done a cut crease like I usually do, but I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks good. I love the colors. And yeah, I think it looks really, really good. So let me zoom you guys out and we will talk a little bit. Okay, so let me tell you guys my thoughts really quick. This highlighter, I think it's beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's perfect for my skin tone so if you're of similar skin tone to me i think transcendent would look really good on you i don't know how this would look on lighter skin tones because it is kind of dark ish i'll, I'll swatch it right here on my 
hand for you guys so you can see. So that's what it looks like on the hand. So I don't know how many lighter skin tones could wear it. I also don't know how it would look on deeper skin tones. Um, maybe it would look pretty good. I'm not sure. You, If you have a deeper skin tone and you wear Transcendent by Give Me Glow, please let me know in the comments down below so everyone can see and know if this is good for deeper skin tones. I think it could. I think it could work. I just don't know about lighter skinned people. I think it might too, be too deep for you. The Juicy Olive Palette. This thing is $30. Like, it's a lot. It's expensive. It really is. The packaging is so freaking cute. I love the neon sign look with the little martini. I think it's beautiful. I think every shade performs beautifully. I did not have any trouble with the shimmers. I did not have any trouble with the mattes. I think each shade performed beautifully. So I personally think this is worth it to me because these are tones that I use constantly. I love these types of colors. They look really good on me, at least I think so. And they, I do get a lot of use out of colors similar to these. So for me, I don't think it is a waste at $30, but I know not everyone will get use out of this. So this is definitely, you're going to have to think about it and think personally, would you use this a lot or no? If the answer is no, then this is not worth $30 and you probably shouldn't get it. But if you reach for these tones a lot and you would probably use it and the pan sizes are really big and the formula is really good. So I personally for myself think it's worth $30. You're going to have to think about what colors you use and if this would get used on a hopefully daily basis or at least more frequently than not. And yeah guys, that's gonna do it for me trying out Give Me Glow Cosmetics for the first time. I'm so excited and I'm definitely gonna be buying more from Give Me Glow. I really like their products, I really like their colors, I love their formula so far, so this will not be the last that you see of Give Me Glow on my channel. If you have any recommendations from the brand or things you'd like me to test out, please leave them in the comments down below so I can make a list and that way I can film a video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It lets me know what kind of content you enjoy from me. That way I can keep doing it for you guys. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We can become friends and talk about makeup and horror and books and manga and all kinds of stuff. I do a lot on this channel, so hopefully there's something for everyone. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!